so it can have water coming out. Next thing I got to do is just put it in. Good afternoon, uh, Afnan here. Today I want to show how I um, clean the siphon. Uh, the siphon is quite small, so it occasionally requires some cleaning. So let's uh, have a look at how I clean the siphon, then i show you how I made the siphon cleaner. To clean the siphon, uh, first I will remove the bell so that uh, water will overflow from the grow bit. And it's also good to make sure the plant roots is trimmed, those plants that is nearby the siphon. So once water starts to overflow, what I will use is normally a piece of graphite rod with some rag at the end. So normally you just clean it up this way so that uh, you can have uh, a good cleaning. Okay. And it's good. I've been using it for a while. It's no issue, no problem. However, I made uh, a better items, but since um, this is the easiest one to do, you can use bottle brush, but bottle brush sometimes is too big. So this is the easiest thing to do. Uh, put a pieces of rag with screws at the end of a graphite rod. So that's something to do. So I made another item, which is uh, the one with uh, water jets. This is the one that I made. Very similar in principle, the same like uh, the one that uh, is very similar to this. It's just that I use the water tubes and make some holes at the end uh, towards the inside the tube so that water will come out. So in the, this particular item, I can use it without uh, having any water overflow. So let's see, I want to show you how it is. First, uh, let's see, open up the tubes, open up the pipes, so you can have water coming out. Next thing I got to do is just put it in and clean up the siphon. Just clean up the siphon. It's going to be a bit messy, but this is actually very good. The siphon cleaner is very good. So, same thing, just do a few get all the algae out of the siphon just do and all the siphon and there it is last one That's about it. Uh, let's just switch off what the water. So I make use of the water hose for a water filter, and the smallest one that I can find. And I make the hole. Uh, I will show you how it's made on this very simple item. So. That's how I keep the siphon clean. Then sit. I already shown a video of how I clean the gutter grow bed. This is how I clean the siphon. The siphon will be working flawlessly. The water outlet will be very uh, strong. Uh, how often do you clean the siphon? Well, that's on condition, depend on each uh, installation. These are the items that you require to make the uh, siphon cleaner that I used uh, just now. Water, water, water tubes. These are the small water tubes. I'm not sure what's the size. Could be one quarter or six millimeter. Those the one that used for uh, water dispenser. This is just uh, water tubes. Uh, one screw, about one inch or half an inch will do then uh, racks 
some racks but this one I'm using those uh, face mask we have a lot of face masks uh, that is thrown away uh, the old face mask that is not being used so basically uh, what we use uh, the face mask we just cut it into a small size like a postage stamp size and use that so basically what I did is I just cut the face mask into smaller pieces smaller pieces just uh, very simple thing just about postage stamp size uh, cuttings don't need to be too accurate it can be smaller then each, each of those the face mask uh, just make a hole in the center just each of these uh, pieces make a hole in the center so that you can thread the screw in so once you have done everything you thread the screw in and just stack them up all together so that's basically how, how we do it so put all all of these uh, pieces of racks or face mask stack it together then the next thing to do is to trim it to the size of the siphon because you do not want it to be too big then it will be uh, difficult so basically you are making it almost like a chimney brush so you trim it slowly does it trim it so that something like that but the, um, this one is I'm um, only showing two pieces of uh, material you can stack it up to a bit uh, to more than this then cut it into pieces so I have I have already made one bit one piece this one so it's already made you can see I will zoom it to get to get so this already made and I already trim it to the size of the siphon so next thing is basically uh, this is the hose that you're going to use thread it into the hose you don't need to be too tight just open up this part here to free the hose so basically you have this and you need to have water feed so next thing is what I'm going to do is I'm going to put four holes perpendicular to each other uh, on these tubes uh, you can drill it using a small drill uh, well I do not have a small drill at the moment so what I'm going to use I'm going to heat up this small screwdriver then I'm going to poke it to make holes so let's uh, heat up the screwdriver alright let's have some heat and the screw is about one inch, one inch so roughly just poke it beneath the after the one inch just heat up Hopefully it's enough. And poke it there. Right, there's a hole. And poke it in another hole. Here. Diagonal to that. Oops. So we already make four holes diagonal um, perpendicular or to each other. That's which I face. Right, that's how the uh, siphon cleaner is made. Then I have a siphon here. We just test it out so that it can go through. Yep, you can see it can go through. 
So this is just clean the cycle. Okay. That's how it's made. Thanks for watching. Bye.